All right. Let's look at this is number five. One, two, three, four. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. I think it's six actually. <clears throat> it says determine the oxidation number of chlorine in each of the following species. So six A is Cl two O seven. So how do we figure out the uh, oxidation number of chlorine? We want to figure out the oxidation numbers of everything else, right? So we don't know what the oxidation number of chlorine is, but we do know the oxidation number of oxygen, right? And oxygen usually has a charge of two minus, right? We have seven of those guys here. So we have seven, uh, we're going to have seven times two minus, which is going to be 14. So we have 14 minus here. And what we're doing with chlorine is, well, I'm going to have to, um, I'm going to have to balance out these charges, right? So I'm going to have, uh, I have 14 minus here, and then I have Cl2. Uh, I'm going to have Cl2. Um, uh, I have Cl2, or you can say you can M2 or whatnot here. So I have two of these guys. So 2x is going to have to equal 14, or 14 minus, or something like that. So x here is going to e simply equal 7. So the oxidation number is going to equal plus 7 here. So this solution here is correct. Let me do a plus seven actually. Uh, seven plus. So again, the reasoning is because again, we know the oxidation number of oxygen is two minus. We have seven oxygens here. So seven times two minus will give us 14 minus. And we have to balance out this 14 minus charge. And we're only given two chlorines. So we simply have to divide uh, 14 by two to get seven. And again, these guys are going to have to be positive because we're going to have to balance this out, this negative 14 charge. And the only, re the only positives can balance out um, negatives here. So each chlorine is going to give me 7 plus. So, or plus will possess a 7 plus charge. So that's the oxidation, oxidation number for chlorine. For B, we can do ALCL4 minus. Oh, ALCL4. Is this a minus? I don't know if that's a negative for the entire um, compound or if it's just for one of these compounds here. Let me see. It says ALCL4. I think it's going to be <coughs> the entire compound, actually. So let's do that. So again, uh, AL, <coughs> sorry, aluminum has an oxidation number of, you can say aluminum is here, has an oxidation number of 3+. plus. <coughs> so this guy's going to be 3+. plus. And then I want a 4 minus charge. I want a negative one charge at the end, right? So I can I can say that I want three plus four x is equal to negative one. <clears throat> so that's kind of our algebraic equation where x here is the oxidation number for our chlorine, and we have four of those guys here. I can simply put uh, x to the other side. So I'm going to have negative one minus three, which is going to be negative four. So x is going to equal negative one because I just divide both sides by four. So the oxidation number for chlorine is going to be negative one. So again, this solution is also correct. And final, or and then for C, so I thought I said finally because I thought there were three parts, but there are four parts there. We have BaClO2. Two. So again, the oxidation number for barium is two plus. So we're gonna have two plus here for barium. Plus, we have uh, we don't know our chlorine again, but our chlorine here we have actually two chlorines because this subscript two belongs with um, this chlorine here. So we're going to say two x here, and then we're going to have um, uh, oxygen here, which is uh, which has a charge of two minus, but we have four of those guys there. So we're going to have four times negative two, and this has to balance out to zero because there's no net charge here. So we can we can solve this equation right. We have two plus two x plus or actually this would be minus four times negative two is negative eight equals zero. We're gonna have two X is going to equal to uh, two to bring to the other side is negative two. I bring a positive eight to the other side, which is going to give me, or sorry, I bring negative eight to the other side, which is going to be positive eight. Uh, I can add that to two and I would get positive six. So X would have to be positive three. And that would be the oxidation number for uh, chlorine and barium, this would be barium uh, C BACL022. So again, let's see. The plus three is correct. And then finally, we have CIF4 plus. CIF4 plus. So we have an overall charge of one plus. So I can say I can set this equation to one. 
Uh, for the oxidation number of carbon, I have, uh, it's going to be four. It can be plus or minus four, it doesn't matter. Iodine has a charge of negative one. And then we have four times X, right? Because we don't know, we want to know our, although I think this is Cl actually, ClF4, my bad. So it's not CIF4, because we're figuring out the charge of chlorine here. ClF4 plus. So we have X here plus four times negative one, because that's the oxidation number of fluorine. Can fluorine exist over here? Times negative one equals positive one, right? Because that's going to be our oxygen uh, overall charge. So X is going minus four equals one. So therefore X has to be equal to five. So X is going to be plus five for the chlorine. The oxidation number of chlorine is going to be positive five. So this is also correct. So all four answers are correct. So solution is correct. It's good analysis as well.